Hello and welcome back to more of my Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke and I know what you're thinking. Hey, what happened to the grinding montage? Well, I'll tell you and the fact is that it hasn't really started yet, but it really did. So <clears throat> here's what, here's the thing. I did some grinding and I did like a little, little grinding session about an hour's worth and uh, I finished and I went to hit stop recording and I realized that I hadn't hit start recording. Uh, that, I know, that's kind of stupid. I, I always hit start recording, but the thing is, I had started the recording at first, and then I had an issue. I had to stop the recording just after a few seconds in. And I thought I hit start recording again, but apparently I didn't. Uh, and, and I couldn't just start it over because I did save in the middle of that bit of grinding I did. And here's why. I went to um, the, the vast pony canyon area again, or whatever, like the cave area, to train. I ran into like two battles, and on the second battle, I had an SOS battle, and the first thing that was called in was a shiny Golbat. I kid you not. On the second battle of all this grinding, shiny Golbat. So I saved after catching it, of course, because shiny claws. Uh, and that that's that's really all I have to say about that. Uh, I had no grinding montage yet, but I got. You know, I've gotten my Pokemon up a few levels, but, you know, not really much. So I do have more grinding to do. However, I'm doing this recording instead of doing all of the grinding because I was origin I had originally said, um, in a little note at the end of the last episode, that I was going to climb Mount Lanakila while grinding, um, which I thought I could do and everything, but I forgot... Let me just check this real here, real quick here. But I forgot that um, you actually have to battle Gladion before you can scale on Mount Lanakila. So what I'm going to do here real quick, we're going to have a bit of a long finale between this and the, the rest of the grinding montage and actually taking on the Elite Four. We're going to have a bit um, of a long episode, but that's okay. It's grand finale. We've got to go all out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that battle with Gladion on screen here. Well, on screen. Not sped up here. Oh, I can't. It's weird. It's showing there's a Pokemon Center there, but I can't fly there. Interesting. I haven't been there. Okay, so we're gonna go and do this battle, like, not sped up, and then I'm gonna do the grinding montage, and then when I come back, it'll probably be a few days later, so I'll be wearing something different. Uh, yeah, then, then we'll actually take on the Elite Four. So, uh, I think my team's ready for Gladion. He should have the Water-type Silvelli, which Ikalop should be okay with, but I'm gonna lead Ikalop for the Crobat that he has. Um... Yeah, I think I'm- I think I'm alright with this. Uh, the only thing I'm a little nervous about is he has Lucario? But actually, I think a Redemption tanks both of its stab, so I- I should be okay, I think. I think. Let's just go. Let's just go for it. I'm pretty sure it's only Gladion that we battle too, but hopefully uh, I didn't make that mistake. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. I'll, I'll unspeed up anything that uh, we have to do. I've been waiting for you to thank you for what you did for Lily, for our mother. I appreciate it, maybe more than you know. And the only thing I can offer you in thanks is a great battle. So I'm going to show my full power, my real full power this time. With the Z-ring my old that old man gave me. Oh, um... What's his name? Why can't I think of his name? Nanu. Are you talking about Nanu? I'm assuming you're talking about Nanu, but I really don't know for sure. Okay, there's the Crobat lead. With the Gladion theme. I like me some Gladion theme. So we just go in and use Discharge. Uh, Ikalop's just gonna be a champ in this match. Yeah, Acrobatics. We quad resist it. I don't know if you're holding an item or not, but we quad resist it regardless. Easy peasy. So, um, other than, I think he has Weavile. I think I said he has Weavile. All of his, interestingly, all of his other Pokemon on his team are Friendship Evolutions. Which is kind of cool. I like the theme they went with. I don't know why Weavile's in there. Kind of a throwback to uh, Silver and Gold and Silver. Okay, Lucario. I'm gonna go Redemption because I want to save Jordan for Weavile. 
Because I don't know how well Jordan can take a hit. Redemption can always, like, emergency exit all on out of there. Anyway. I like how uh, Wimpod and Golisopod have basically the same ability, but there's one's named Wimp Out and one's named Emergency Exit because, like, Golisopod can't be wimping out. What is this? So I think his Lucario is the one with the Z-move because his Silvalli obviously will be holding a memory. He's not going for... What's Z... What's Z uh, move does he have? Because he might as well have gone for Z or a Sphere. Uh, or is it... I don't know. Because he could have a Steel move too. Alright, we just have to take another hit. Just gonna go for another Aura Sphere. Nothing too threatening. We can even live a crit of that. I was somewhat concerned about this battle. Uh, but I, I wanted to do it before uh, before finishing the grinding, because otherwise we would be way too overleveled for him, because he's got like level 52 and 53 Pokemon. Okay, Silvalli should be the water type, because we picked Litten, and he does the type that uh, is strong against your starter. Rip Sarge the Litten. Rip in pieces. Alright, yep, we got that nice blue Silvalli with this little mermaid tail. We're just gonna go discharge. We go Z move. I'm gonna... No, you know what? I gotta, I gotta fire him Z, uh, the Weavile, just for overkill. Just so I know. Ooh, and we're dodging the Crush Claw. Good for us. Not quite gonna be enough to take it out. We don't get the Paralysis. That's okay. If he's just going for Crush Claw, why is he not going for multi-attack? That would be neutral and stab. Now he's going for Crunch. What is he doing? He's just, like, picking different attacks. Maybe making the prediction that I'm gonna switch to Remedy? I don't know. But there's a Remedy for ya. Okay. Alright, next we got Weavile. Next, I should say, last. He might run Fake Out. Might he? Unless he doesn't have it. Which is possible. Uh, alright. Pressure... Let's just go, let's go Z Flare Blitz and totally overkill. Okay, Night Slash. Don't crit me, bro. That wasn't a crit, but it's okay. We're gonna overkill this thing to Kingdom Come. Gonna overkill it up. The biggest Inferno you've ever seen. Boom. All right, nice and easy. Good job, Jordan. And we got a few few more levels here for our Pokemon. All right, we defeated Gladion, and he's still so surprised. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. All right, sure. But I'm sure, I bet you're going to say more right now. Right about now? Right about now. Smile. You've got good Pokemon. And I know what kind of trainer you are now, and what kind of journey you've been through. Look at you, Smiley. Lily wanted me to tell you something. She's looking, af she's looking after our mother at the Foundation. Blank smile. She wanted me to tell you that you're the best Pokemon trainer in the world, sweet. Why, thank you. She gave me this for you. Max Elixir! Nice, it's not a Max Revive, so I can use it! How's working hard to get stronger, too? Humph. If you two are going to get even stronger, I guess I can't let my guard down yet. I know we aren't friends. But we aren't enemies anymore, either. I mean, were we really enemies just, like, five minutes ago? Or five episodes ago when we went to, uh, eighth- whatever. Keep winning. Maybe I'll see you again if you do. Foreshadowing to each child challenges you later at the Elite Four. Unless you're me, and then you get challenged by Hapu 15 times. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna I'm gonna heal. Actually, do I need to heal? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna run up here to Mount Lanakila. I, you know, I was gonna get my first encounter on Mount Lanakila uh, during off-screen grinding, but you know what? I, I might as well just catch it right here, just so I have um. So I have that done and over with. Um, and we don't have to worry about, like, I don't have to deal with it during grinding. Also, I'm just going to make sure that there aren't any more battles. Because I feel like... I, I want to... 
I, I'm afraid that we've got a, a battle with how that I, I'm not remembering. I need to... I need to check, because I don't want to get slaughtered here. I don't think... Because we don't battle them in the Pokemon League yet. I don't know. What's the last match? Pokemon League. No, that's the rematch. He does have level 50s. Oh, that's at the top of Mount Lanakila. Okay, so we're still good if we do some grinding on Mount Lanakila. So I'm gonna do grinding on Mount Lanakil. I wonder if I need to split this into two-part finale. I already promised the next episode would be the finale. Well, you know what? I have a lot of grinding to do, so I'll decide during grinding. I will decide during grinding. I might do the battle with Hao and then cut off the episode and then do a Pokemon League episode. Although I did kind of want to just be done. But regardless, let's just let me just real quick see what I've got for my encounter on Mount Lanakila right here. I've been hitting a lot of dupes, so I have I've missed a lot of encounters so far. All right, a Sneasel. I am cool with that. The only thing I'm not cool with is I'm not sure how much uh, damage I'm gonna do to this thing. So I think I'll go Meowzy and just fake out, or I'll go Remedy. What's my defense like? I mean, I'm used to Slowbro having godlike defense, but those are my EV trained Slowbro, the Slowbro twins, Bob and Paul. But Remedy should be alright. Uh, we're gonna get screeched, though. Ugh, I don't feel so good about that, but I just wanted to Thunder Wave it. Alright, Slash. It's not super effective. We oh, look at that! Remedy, much like Paul, don't care. Remedy don't care about getting screeched. Alright, enough of this. Let's see if I can catch you. I have some Ultra Balls somewhere around here. I have these in alphabetical order for whatever reason. I guess I could have just gone back one instead of all the way down the list. Let's see if this is enough. Nope. Oh, that reminds me, because I was starting to think about I need to how I need to nickname this. I'll need to nickname this thing. And, uh... I... If you noticed, I nicknamed the... Uh, the shiny Golbat Soraka Hero. And part of that was because, A, it was one of Nitra's nickname suggestions in the comments, and B, uh, it was, um, it's like, Soraka Hero had a tendency, back when Sun and Moon were first out, and he was breeding a bunch of Mons for me, he would very commonly breed a Shiny when trying to breed something for me, so a little bit a throwback to that. But we did catch the Sneasel, so we are gonna have to come up with a name for it. I'll, uh take a look here. It uses its claws to poke holes in eggs so it can slurp out the insides. I don't know what I expected from the Rotom Pokedex, but okay. Let me go and find the comments where breeders consider it a, scour a scourge and will drive it away or eradicate it. Ooh, we got Sneasel exterminators here. Alright, that's a little scary. Oh, um, I think one of I think one of uh, Nitra's suggestions, I could be, I don't, I don't know how, how far back to go to look for it, was Last. I think I'm gonna name you Last because, unless I'm mistaken, you're probably gonna be our last encounter of the game. So, there is that. You are the wrong nature, my friend, but that's okay. We're probably not gonna use you. All right, go off to the PC with you with the shiny gold bat. All right guys, so I'm going to cut away. We are going to do some grinding and then, well, you'll know you'll know already if this is the finale or not, but I'll decide. But either way, we're going to take on how after this. So, I will see you then.
Okay, we are back. Grinding is done, and, uh... I kind of- I may have overdone the grinding by just a little bit. I- I left the experience share on for a while, but the experience share is now off, um, the rest of the game. Uh, I got everybody- well, Meowzy got to level 60, everybody else was around level 56 to 58, or 57 to 58, I forget the exact number. But then I- I had six, um, rare candies, so I just used them all. I don't think I changed anybody's moveset except for- uh, giving lulls here psychic instead of psy shock just for that little bit of extra damage most of the time except against special walls of course uh, but Let's see slow bro Magnezone Nobody else has any differences in their items either So where the only thing I'm not sure about is if I want to put the well actually I don't need amulet coin I don't need money. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna take the tour here since you guys did not get to see Mount Lanakila in a regular motion. It was all sped up. So we're gonna just make sure we get this, uh, where did my super repels go? Oh yeah, alphabetical. We're just gonna put up some super repels and we're gonna take the grand tour of Mount Lanakila as we prepare for the finale. We do have to do the battle with Hao, still. So we're not gonna go directly into the Elite, in the elite Four. Um, I'm hoping that there weren't any more cutscenes that I forgot about, otherwise this is going to be just one big, mega, massive grand finale. I know, in retrospect, I could have split up the episodes, but just from a time management point of view, I think it's still easier to do these all as one, and I get this big grand finale, and we can move on with future projects for the channel, which is something I'm excited about. Uh, nothing in the immediate future, but, well, I'll talk about that when we're, uh, Hopefully victorious at the Elite Four. Alright, let me make sure I, I went the right way. Yeah, put another repel. Yeah, that was pretty easy. So, alright, let's get off of Tauros. I believe... Oh, there's one more thing. Um, yeah, there's this area. And then we just go up the stairs. And I think it's just the battle with Hao and, you know, maybe a couple cutscenes and then that's it. This is the end! <clears throat> One way or another, for better or for worse. Now, we are going to be a bit over-leveled for how, uh, but I just didn't have the time to, uh, to do a separate, uh, I don't know, to, to do, to do it before grinding, to battle how before grinding. I'm pretty sure we battle how. I could have gone up to the Pokemon Center, though, apparently, which would have made things a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think there's any moves we want relearned. I'm, I restocked my items during grinding. I think we're good to just continue. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, uh, because, well, first of all, I want to have, like, a drink. Uh, we don't, there's not a, um, they don't have Tapu Coco here. I'm gonna go ahead and have a Rose Ray tea. I like myself some tea. Um, the Rose Ray tea hopefully doesn't taste like flowers, but we're just gonna have it, just for the heck of it. One Rose Ray tea just for you, just because, uh, <laughs> Uh, because I, they didn't need to make this episode any longer. I brew a very strong Roserade tea because it, if it was weak, you wouldn't get the stimulation you want no matter how many cups you drink. Well, um, you know, it's good. Uh, it's good that we have some tea because it is freezing outside and there's absolutely- Ooh, a shallower sable. There's absolutely nothing even remotely warm for us to wear in this game, which is the one thing that really bugs me uh, about Sun and Moon is that the- the clothing mostly makes sense for, you know, being in tropical area, Alola, blah, blah, blah. But we're on a freaking snowy mountain. I mean, come on. All right. Um, oh, the one thing, oh, the other thing I wanted to do, you know what, I'll, I'll do, I'll take on how first. And then we'll, I'll tell you. Sweet, hold up for me. I guess if I have to. So after we split up at Aether Paradise, I went and cleared up the rest of my trials. And then I even went back home to train with Ilima a bit. Uh, Ilima. He killed multiple of my Pokemon, I believe, but he killed Sarge the Litten. I was just thinking it was time to take on the Pokemon League. Then I heard from Gladion that you were already heading there, sweet. So I booked it here as fast as I could. That was like the fastest I've ever moved in my life, you know? If only I had a Choppa to ride on. <laughs> anyway, but that's not what I came here to tell you. Sweet, we're gonna decide which of us will be the first of the Pokemon League. You're gonna need to beat- you're gonna need to use your full force if you think you're gonna beat me and my team when we're serious about winning. Are you ever serious about winning? You certainly 
weren't serious about winning when you were in that double battle with me and I lost two of my Pokemon. I feel like I lost three in that episode, but I lost two of my Pokemon in that stupid double battle. All right. Led with the Raichu, as I expected. We got this cat and mouse game one more time. Again, level, only level 53. Um, we are a little bit over level for how. It, it's just the way I ended up, um, the way I ended up organizing the, uh, the grinding and everything. It, it caused me to be a bit over leveled. But it's not too big of a deal. Again, I don't have the experience here on if I did this right. Okay, Komala. Who wants to take on Komala? I guess Redemption can take on Komala. I don't remember who else he has. I mean, other than I know he has a Primarina. But I think he has, what, four Pokemon or five Pokemon in total? I didn't look at the number of Pokeballs he had. Let's see. Uh, four. Alright. So, I just can't remember what that fourth Pokemon is. Oh, and it gets a crit. That's right, Redemption has the uh, Scope Lens for massive damage. Decidu- Oh, right, he has the one weak to me! I can, I'm so used to, like, your rival having the one strong- No, it's gonna be Professor Kukui who has, uh, what we're weak against. So, I guess- Well, let's go into Jordan. The heck with it. But I do want to make sure we KO this thing, just because I don't want- We do out-level it by a bit. By about five levels. But I want to make sure there's not even a chance that it gets a Z-move off on me. So we're gonna Z Flare Blitz on ya. Cause I, but I, I really hope I don't need that um, Z move save for whatever his other Pokemon is. I forget what it is. <clears throat> I forget what it is. But let's go ahead and overkill this Decidueye. I want to make sure it stays good and gone because I know it's it can be bulky. Actually, I think you only have the Grassium Z. Anyway, I don't think you have the Deciduum Z or whatever it's called. Oh well, it's gone now! Um, Vaporeon. Oh, you have the Evolution as well. Well, water type. We'll bring out Ikalop. I was, I was planning to use Ikalop for Primarina. But since it's not Primarina, we'll just do this on Vaporeon. Alright. Let's go ahead and I guess discharge is still the best thing I have. Baby doll eyes. Uh, that just lowers physical attack, right? Yeah, we're good. But Vaporeon is such bulk! Alright, let's do this again. It can't outspeed us, except it can outspeed us! Hydro Pump! What the heck? Okay. I was gonna say, we don't have Sturdy, so I was worried for a second. It, y yeah, I guess Magnezone's not very fast, even out leveling it a bit. So, see, look, we took some damage. Totally not too easy. There may be no winning or losing before true full power. Wait, what? Anyway. I guess he means we're all winners. Yay. Actually, no, How you lost. <laughs> the face. The first time Howe's really looked upset about anything. Oh, and I really wanted my Pokemon to know how it feels to beat your team this time. But being seriously frustrated will only make me stronger. So you'd better go and become champion. Because I'm going to train so that next time I can come... Wait. Because I'm going to train so that next time I can come beat champion sweet. Good luck, cuz. And here. Max revives. You monster. Just those are the three Pokemon I lost in that episode. I'm really glad that kid who moved to do Alola turned out to be you, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really got glad you got to kill. Well, I, you you killed Auto Pool the Cubone. Then you caused the deaths of Mimi and Carl. Did they both die in that double battle with you? Was it Carl? Uh, we don't need the repel. Alright, so I'm gonna go- do we need to heal? Or did we get healed? We got automatically healed. Uh, but... We do need to sell those max revives, because that's some good money there. Let me just make sure. I want to be absolutely certain. Okay, we're at full. We are all good. We are all good in here. So let me sell those max revives and see if we can buy just a few more items. Because, you know me, I like to over-prepare because that is what I do. What I do, what I do. And I don't expect to, like, need all these extra items. But it's, I, I don't know, I guess I'd be good at camping because better to pack more? No, I would be terrible at camping. You have to pack only the essentials and travel as lightly but as practical as you can. 
I want some more full restores, because how many have we? We have ten. We can get five more. And then let's get... Um... We can get five hyper potions. All right. I'm cool with this. Let's get going. Oh, no, 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 no. The one thing I wanted to do, because if we do win, we'll have an end credit sequence and everything. So, um, not to say we won't lose anybody in our Elite Four challenge, because we might. But for now, I want to say goodbye uh, once more, one more time to the 14 Pokemon that we lost during this series. I'm going to lower this volume so we can have the sad music go in the background. And we're just going to go one by one through here. Sarge the Litten. Mesa Mazon the Makuhita. Enderstar the Kadabra, the most awful, brave nature, the most awful nature possible, one of the most awful natures possible for Kadabra, but, you know, actually AJ would use him, so, rip. Pico the Wingle, you were a sacrifice. I, I took you, I took you lightly and I apologize for that, but I think you were a necessary sacrifice so that others could live. Game and Rage the Mankey. Uh, my mistake with you was going against uh, Type Null and hoping for a crit on a Pokemon that couldn't get critted. Rest in peace, my friend. My, oh, so many fighting types that died. Wagwan the Mudbray. You just died senselessly during during a grinding. Uh. And Doe the Zubat. Two in a row that died senselessly to grinding. With the same nature. Gentle nature. Gentle nature is just unlucky. Toucans. Adamant natured. Trumbeak. I will never have a toucan and apparently... Was one of the leaders of the team for a long time. Now Meowzy has had to carry on the torch without you. Auto pull the cue bone I was just talking about you. Another senseless death. Because how, how, I had my water type out, I think it was Zoe, I would have expected him to go for an electro type move, but no, had to go for psychic. <sighs> Two levels away from being a Marowak, too. Huale, Huale, the Fomantis. You lost to a Hariyama, didn't you? It was a fighting type, it was a karate master. Another one so close to evolving, I never get to have a Lorantis on my team. Datalore! Datalore, the Metang. I had Eviolite on you. You didn't even die to a physical attack with that lonely nature. You died to a special attack from a Haunter. Alright, to be honest, that was my bad. But it critted you, so... So, that did it. The crit is what did it. So sad. Another one I missed out on being fully evolved. Carl! Carl and Mimi, i do you guys together. Serious and quirky. Two neutral natures. Such powerhouses on the team. You guys died because Hal was stupid and a terrible teammate. And Elliot. Another one holding the Eviolite one level away from evolving. I remember, I got really cocky. I'm so sorry. And that's it. 14 Mons who served us well. Hopefully we don't have to add to this death box. In this episode. Anyway. Again, this will be the longest episode ever. Let me turn the music back up. This might be the longest episode ever of this series. Once all the grinding is said and done. I'll see how much I can speed up the grinding because it was a good couple hours worth. Hopefully this will be fairly quick and painless, except now we have to talk to Kukui. Yeah, hey over there. You know, I totally know I'm gonna battle you in the end, so uh... Hey there, sweet! Woo, you come a long way! 
You've made it through all the trials and grand trials to make up that island challenge. That make up the island challenge. Congratulations. Aren't you cold? I would say aren't you cold, because he doesn't have a shirt. But, uh, I'm dressed for summer, too. No, I'm fine. My soul burns hot. Yeah, hotter than a blast burn, even. Just one thing left for you to do. Take on the Pokemon League. This is where the real fun starts. Mount Lanakita... Lanakina. Mount Lanakila is where we always finished up the island challenge. We built our Pokemon League right here, as high as the heavens, as high into the heavens as we could get. To show respect for our legendary Pokemon and honor it. I still remember it like it was yesterday. I went all the way to Indigo Plateau, yeah, the Pokemon League headquarters. And I went right in at and I went right at them, cousin. Those gym leaders in Kanto really messed my team and me up. But then I saw my team battling for me through it all, pouring their souls into their moves for me. And then that last guy, that dragon user in the cape. Oh, sorry, enough about me. Let's get you in there, yeah. But before you head in, make sure you're good and ready. You won't be able to come back out. Ever. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and just not waste any time getting in here. Oh, we can just waltz right in. Okay, we don't have to talk to the people. Okay, so the way this works, well, I guess Kukui is going to explain it for us, if I remember correctly, so let's see. Four trainers. Every Pokemon League in every region all over the world features four fantastic trainers called the Elite Four. Here in Alola, too, we've got four trainers all lined up for our Pokemon League. You'll win your way past every last one of them. You can't leave until you do. Or until you give up. Or until I die. Sounds good. Persian can sense when his trainer is nervous. Stay loose, you'll be fine. Alright, I expected you to show me some intense moves and real heart-stopping battles in there. Good luck, sweet Persian. Alright, so it's interesting. I remember they said that the tradition uh, when you finished your island challenge was to take on all the kahunas again. And um, essentially, the Elite Four members are mostly kahunas or replacement kahunas. So, I mean, I guess we're still... Pretty much true to form here. Okay, so I need to decide what to do. Uh, we have a fighting type. We have fighting type first. Here as um, the gym. Whatever. I don't know. I'm um, messing up here. Okay, I think I want to lead with redemption, actually. Against, because, uh, okay. Well, first of all, you can do these battles in any order, but I'm going to do them in order from left to right, because I think chronologically uh, the it matches the best with the order that you meet these characters in the game. That's uh, my logic. And that's the order I, I always do it in. So, first thing we have is Hala with fighting types. We're definitely not going to lead Meowzy. I think I want to lead Redemption. I could lead Remedy, but Remedy has to worry. I think, actually, all of his Pokémon, or, or a good chunk of his Pokémon, have some Dark-type coverage. And while I think most of them aren't much to worry about, uh, he leaves with a Hariyama, I, I believe it gets knockoff. And I uh, don't... Remedy, she's not bold, she's not fully EV trained, she can't have the godlike uh, composure of my Slowbro twins from the PGBL, so I'm going to spare her this one. Uh, I also have Lulz with Psychic. So between, I'm going to split the job between Lulz, Remedy, and Redemption. I think just Redemption because um, I take Hariyama's most powerful move pretty well. So I'm just going to go in there and go Liquidation. I think he fakes out. Uh, Hariyama always carries fake out. But anyway, this is my story. I'm just double, wait, double check that I did it right. And I did, uh, you guys saw I turned battle animations back on, right? Either way, I'm going to double check again because... I can get paranoid sometimes, you know the you know the feel, right? Long time Pokemon players know the feel. Did I really save? For example. Oh boy. Alright. No time for being tired. We have some kahunas to take on, or I should say Elite Four members. Old Hala is here to make you holler. Ah ha, that never gets old, Hala. And we're locked, blocked in, locked in by some kind of weird force field. What is this technology? It looks like giant hands closing us in or giving us a big hug. Anyway, let's get to this. 
Your old kahuna is now also a member of the Elite Four. Well, this time I'm holding nothing back. Time to see what- Time for you to see what I can really do. Alright, Hala. Come at me, bro. Boom. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, it's been a while since I've heard the Elite Four theme music. It's pretty cool. There's this one part of the music, and I'm gonna try to point it out. I've said this on stream before. There's this one part of the Elite Four music that I swear sounds a little bit like the Spider-Man theme song. And hopefully I'll be able to point that out. Alright, so, um... I wonder if I can out- no, Fake Out has more priority than uh, First Impression, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna go Liquidation, see how much the Fake Out does to me. Alright, we're good. I mean, I, I have to take a knockout, but I should be- knockout, knock off. But I'm bold nature, which is unfortunate for my attack stat, but it means I should be able to live. He's going for close combat anyway, even though I resist it. Alright, Redemption has nothing to worry about here. He's minus two defense. I wonder if I should leech life for my HP. You know what? I'm gonna try it. This could be a mistake. Oh, he withdraws. Alright, who's he gonna send out? Polyrath. Well, you resist liquidation. That was actually pretty smart. And you get rid of your defense drops. See, this is what I mean, especially when you get to the Elite Four. I've heard some people say they didn't have a problem with the Elite Four, but my goodness. Uh, they use some competitive strats here. Now, the good news is I'm pretty sure I resist anything uh, this guy can do to us. So I'm gonna go uh, Liquidation just to go for a defense drop. Alright, there's a Waterfall. We're resisting that. Oh, he has Water Absorb! That's why he made the prediction! Alright, well, I'm back to square one now. That's why he made the prediction. My bad. I don't- I forgot what abilities Polyrath could get. What's the other ability? He can have another ability, right? Alright, let's get some HP back. We get a crit redemption with the scope lens. I mean, we're still good here. Like I said, we tank everything this guy has. And he's gonna do damage to himself with submission now. Once again, resisted. Yeah, we're gonna gain more back from leech life. Our redemption was perfect for this, man. Why did I ever have any doubts? No doubts at all about redemption. Although I am going to use up most of my leech lives. I might have to use some ethers and elixirs. Missing the submission. Submission. Haha. Alright, so do I go Sucker Punch? I don't think it'll do enough because leech life is stab and not very effective. Even though it's a little bit weaker. No, it's the same. No, it's, it's actually stronger than Sucker Punch. So I'm just going to leech life again. Oh, full restore. That's right. That's right, I forgot about the full restore. Sucker Punch wouldn't have hit anyway, then. Okay, so, um... But I'd, I think it's good that he used- I forget if that's his only full restore, but I think it's good we get him to use it on this guy. Let's just go for more leech lives. I'm probably gonna just use an ether or elixir. He gets a crit on me. And we get a crit right on back! Good for you, Redemption. You'd show him. Alright, two more of these should be enough, unless he's got another full restore. Let's see. This leech life wouldn't do enough to KO it from here unless it's a crit. It's not. Alright, moment of truth. Do you have another full restore? If you do, I'm gonna have to use the ether right here. Nope! And missing the submission, we're gonna be back up to full with redemption here. Redemption is even bold nature. This is bold nature. I have lowered physical attack. And I'm still doing so well. I'm just really glad that I have uh, that increased defense, at least. Okay, Prime Ape. Um, this thing has something dark type. I'm gonna send out Remedy. I think I'm going to go Thunder Wave first. Kind of scout him out. I'm sure you have a Dark type something. Alright, Thunder Wave. I could Scald it. Do any of these Pokemon have guts? Going for the Pursuit. I mean, I sent, I sent Remedy in on you. I might be afraid of a knockoff from a Hariyama, but I ain't certainly not afraid from a Pursuit of a Pursuit from a Primeape. Not gonna do nearly enough. Remedy don't care. 
And it's a one-shot! Nice. Um, I was expecting potentially not one-shotting it because, uh... Because of the fact that, um... Primeape, that's his name, has some decent special bulk. But, I mean, I, I have to remember, I am at a little bit of a level advantage. I am a little bit of a level advantage, so it's not totally fair uh, <clears throat> to say that I'm having a hard time with this. It's making my job a little bit easier to have that level advantage. But I just didn't want to be behind, I, and again, I probably should have stopped at level 58. But I'm only one and two levels above that benchmark, so... Um, I don't think I'm gonna have too easy of, the, of a time if we get to the champion. Alright, beware. Now the thing with beware, do I just wanna... Ooh, I could... That's This is last Mon, right? I'm just gonna Z Flare Blitz, because this thing is probably fluffy. I have to be really sure I'm gonna take it out, though. I think Jordan can do it. I believe in you, Jordan. I believe in you. Oh no, he has... That's right, he has, uh, he has five Pokemon. Crabominable, right? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll use the Z-move on this one, and, um, I'll stay, I'll, um, I'll, I'll send Slowbro out for the Crabominable. I shouldn't have too much to worry. I resist both of its stab. Because I, I... The Crabominable is the one that has the Z-move. And we should resist that. I mean, we do resist that. So we should take it just fine. Because we're, you know, a Slowbro. But I will probably heal since Remedy is not at full health. Well, first I gotta hope I one-shot this Fluffy Beware. Yes! Alright, Jordan. Good work. Okay, I am gonna heal Remedy just to- just to scout this out. I'm sure from full that I can live a Z-move. Should you go for it. Alright, level 55. A little bit on the scary side. Getting a little bit closer to our level. Um, I'll just use- we have a citrus berry? I don't know- I, I don't trust exactly how much- I don't know exactly how much it restores, so I don't want to take that chance right now. I don't remember off the top of my head how much it restores. It says a small amount, so... Alright, just gonna go for Ice Hammer? Okay. Why don't you use your Z-move? I mean, why not? Why not go for Broke? And we're faster. I mean, Crabominable is slow, I guess, and we outlevel it. And just miss KOing it, unfortunately. There's a regular close combat. So yeah, Z-move pr probably wouldn't have taken us out from where we were, but it could have gotten us close, and a crit Z-move could have taken us out, so... I'm okay with the fact that we healed. And there's another full restore. Okay, you had two. That's alright though, because I'm gonna Scald here. Get the burn remedy. Get the burn just to- Ooh, we almost- Yeah, we got the burn! We almost one-shot it from a non-super effective move. Good gravy. So I'm just gonna use another Scald. Why'd that do, like, almost the same amount as Psychic? If one's super effective- Full heal, really?! I didn't realize you had a full heal in addition to a full restore, not that it matters at this point. Alright. Alright, Hall. We're already at 30 minutes of just this- this section of recording since grinding. Oh boy. These battles. They're closer to competitive battles in that you can't just press A to win. It's only when the balance of the old and the new is just right that you can create something truly original. That's what I saw in the battle between us, an elder's experience in the fire of youth. Alright. Well, let's, um, let's heal you guys up then. And I, I have to use, let me use an elixir on redemption. Oh, wait, I meant to use a max ether or an ether, but, oh, well, that works. All right, uh, let's see how much a citrus berry restores. This is 18 HP I need restored, so that was, yeah, that's fine. All right, so let me go ahead, da -da 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 -da, hyper potion. Alright, what's the next, uh, type again? It's Rock, right? It's Olivia. Um... So... This is what I need to decide, because... I wish Lulz had a better grass move, and you know, I forgot to check if... No, Giga Drain's not a, not a TM. If I had the TM for Energy Ball, 
I don't, I don't think I do. If I had energy ball, that would be so much better. I should have done that, actually. Make sure to get the- I, I wasn't- I couldn't think of the move, but it was energy ball that I needed. Alright, well, I think what I'm gonna do, um, she leads with the, uh, relicanth. But, you know, I need- I wanna save, um, I was gonna say Ikalop, but I wanna save Ikalop for, uh, what's its name? That four times weak to steal Carbink. Alright, I'm gonna... Who do I lead then? I guess I lead Lulz. I guess I lead Lulz? Because I can just, um... I, I can just Leaf Storm and switch out, probably. I mean, you might have, um... What's the word? I don't want to waste- I don't want to use my Z-move right off the bat. You- I think you have Sturdy, though, possibly? I can't remember. Relicanth gets Sturdy. I'm pretty sure you do. I- I had to look it up. It's only a hidden ability, so you most likely don't then? Because I don't think anybody has hidden abilities in this game, like any of the NPCs. Welcome to the rock chamber. Dun -da -da -da. And rocks are closing us in. All right, let's do this, Olivia. Not wasting any time. No introduction needed here. Time to battle me, Olivia. All right. I'm cool with that. Let's do this. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a good hour or more episode. I think we're already at an hour before even adding the grinding. Like we're at 30 minutes here. Plus I think 30 minutes or so when I battle Gladion. Maybe not quite 30 minutes, 20 or so minutes. Anyway. Once again, I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, lulz. <clears throat> so you just gotta hit this leaf storm. Is basically all you gotta do. Let's see if you can do it. It's faster. I mean, I, I guess Executor's not that fast, but... Relicant seems like a slow Pokemon. Okay, didn't get the stat boost. Okay, good. The Relicant is not sturdy. And Carbink. That is our cue to get on out of here. I knew uh, the Executor would bait the Carbink. Alright, Carbink is quite defensive. However, a Flash Cannon should be quite nice against you right here. Yeah! Carbink going down. Oh, this is going much better so far, but I know she's got some Sturdy Mons, and that's one of them, and I've just realized I forgot to put, um... I forgot to put Earthquake on anybody, and I was just thinking that Probopass, um... Redemption would be pretty good against Probopass, except for the fact that, um... I'm weak to rock, so... Remedy! You take care of this. You remedy this, shall we say. But yeah, she has two Pokémon with Sturdy. The Probopass and the Golem, and I remember- because I remember from grinding the level 100, they're so annoying because you can't one-shot them, and then she full restores, and then you can't one-shot them again. And then she full restores again. Okay, but we- we did just over 50%. We're gonna get Thunder Wave, but you know what? Slowbro's already slow. I mean, we did outspeed the Probe Pass the first turn, but we don't really care. We're in range to take you out with the Scald. Oh, the Sandstorm, though. The special defense boost you get from Sandstorm might make a difference. Come to think of it, it might make the difference. Unless we can burn you! Can we burn you? Oh man, that made a big difference. That is sad. That is sad. And there's the full restore, like I knew would happen. But it's okay, Remedy can just wait out, um... Yeah, paralyzed. We can just wait out the sandstorm. As a matter of fact, well, I'm gonna try to get another hit off. And when there's like one more turn of sand, I will full restore. Get a burn, get a burn, get a burn. Ooh, yes, was that a crit? It was a crit! And the burn. And the burn. 
All right, you know what? I'm gonna heal now. I'm gonna heal now because I don't want any para hacks messing me up. Oh yeah, wait. Is this the part that I forgot to point out the part that sounds like Spider-Man? Crits, dang it! But here it comes. Ready? It's like Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Take it out! Oh, man. But I think that the burn might take you out. I don't know if burn does enough in this generation. I think it'll be just enough. It's either going to be just enough or you're going to, like, live on one. Okay. That last little bit of HP was hanging on for dear life, but we got it. All right. Lycanroc. Well, we're in no condition to take you on with this. So we're gonna go lulls and we're gonna Z Z Leaf Storm just to not take any chances. Uh, hopefully we're a little faster than you. We're probably not actually. Can we live one thing? Lycanroc Midnight is is slow, right? Oh no, it's going first! Are we gonna lose lulls? Oh no, I did it for the lulls. The lulls. Lulls! I'm so not defensive. Lulls is so not defensive. No, lulls! Lulls. It was a mistake. I regret it. I regret it. All right, what do we do, Ikalop? Because we still haven't fought the Golem yet. But, you know, I... Well, I have to attack it specially, because I know, you know, Lycanroc Midnight, your whole thing is, um... Your whole thing is using counter. Man, we're gonna have to do this at, the rest of this at minus one. This is not good. The one plus I can possibly say is that I think Lulz offered us... The least amount of overall type coverage compared to the rest of our team. Yeah, I should've just done that from the start. Because Ikalop's a tank, too. I don't know why I, I didn't... Okay, now this golem... I know what you're thinking. What am I doing? But I am pretty certain this golem has no ground moves. I am fairly certain. So I'm gonna flash cannon here. See if we can get a special defense drop. Okay, good. That's a two shot. We're good. Thunder punch. Yeah, see, it has nothing. It has nothing for us. So let's just take this thing out. Oh, man. Lulz. Like I said, though, the silver lining out of all the Pokemon... Like, like, not to say that Lulz wasn't important, but I don't think that we stand no chance without Lulz, is basically what I'm saying. So we can soldier on and do this. We can do this. <sighs> I don't see the same look at your eyes in your eyes that I saw when we first met on Akala Island. Yeah, this is the look of someone who's seen much more death since we first met on Akala Island. Have you had some experiences that you'll carry on with you in your heart for- Yes. Yes, Olivia, that's exactly what I'm talking about, actually. So, we're at 15 deaths. Let's heal the others. Uh, mostly just, uh, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna call you Paul. Um, Remedy and Ikalop. Okay, so next we have a trial that's gonna be, um, a trial. We have a type that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Ghost. It's not really gonna be that big of an issue because we have, um, Meowzy. However, the thing that's gonna be an issue is... Um, Sableye. She leads with Sableye. I think we're gonna go Redemption. I think we're gonna go Redemption. Ah, uh, lols. Let me just say farewell to you real quick. Lols. Our most recent addition to the team, and you had so much potential. I should have known you were too frail, though. Well, you had decent physical defense. Well, I mean, not compared to, you know, 
Redemption. Lulz? You weren't that far off from Slowbro, and I mean, she's a Slowbro. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I, I should have thought more and just sent out Akalop, but... It is what it is. I'm sorry, Lulz. You'll be with us in spirit. And you'll also be with us here as, you know, we drag your body along with us for the rest of this journey. Oh, so terrible. Anyway, let's do this. Let me make sure. I know I elixired up. I know I did, but I just want to make sure that I know I did. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go, 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 go. 